Hi, welcome to the Dummies Guides. By the way, I'm the dummy. What we're going to do today, we're going to uh, remove the background from an image. We'll get started straight away. We're going to go up to the top left hand of the uh, program and we're going to click on the File button. Click on Open. Open, select an image and open it. Bring the image into this stage. There it is. Down the right hand corner here we've got background and it's locked so I want to unlock that. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to give it a name. Cut out. And OK that. Right, now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, the image that we're on the stage so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to go over to the right hand side of the uh, program and I'm just going to, on this slider, I'm going to slide it over to the right hand side, left makes it smaller, right makes it larger, that's about OK there. Going over to the left hand side of the toolbar here, I'm going to click on the quick selection tool, like a little magic wand thing here. Now we want quick selection tool, not magic wand. Make sure the little black square is selected on the quick selection tool. Give that a click. We have the brush sizes up here. I'm going to drop this down. We want about brush size uh, 3 will be fine for this. So again, click off the image with the cursor. Here's the little round cursor. Start at the top right hand corner and click, left click the mouse and slightly drag it down as we're going, holding the key pressed in on the mouse, just dragging dragging so the little ants, marching ants, are snapping to the outside of the image that we want to remove from the background. I'm going back to the top right hand corner, again left click, now dragging the my mouse slowly to the right and you can see the little ants are snapping to the, uh, the picture that we want to remove from the background. As you can see there are certain parts where the ants have gone just here on the right hand side near the neck of the uh, the guitar which isn't quite correct because that will be cut out as well so we're going to gently nudge the uh, ants out to the outside of the picture. I'm going to press and hold the ALT button on the keyboard while I now press the left key on the mouse and just slightly nudge the little ants to the outside of the uh, picture and again here I just want to push the ants to the outside there we go they're snapped into the end of his little wing and on the end of the guitar knob the little buttons there the more time you take the better your results will be and the more practice uh, makes perfect a little bit over here that needs to be filled in on the left hand side near the trumpet. I've released the ALT key. I'm now going to just press the left key on the mouse and just drag the uh, little marching uh, ants so they go up there. Not, mar not marching ma mouse, marching ants. Uh, down the bottom here on his foot you can see it's uh, the ants are stuck to the little black bit there. We don't want that. If we leave that there that bit will be missing. We want the little black bit to show so I'm going to press the ALT key in and hold left click the mouse and just nudge nudge them off. You can see they've gone gone off there now. Having a quick look around. Oh the top of his hat here we've got some at the top. Left hold uh, hold the uh, ALT key in with the and left click the mouse. Push that on up there that's the idea and go around there that's fine now the more time you take the better it will be um, what we're going to do now is on the keyboard we will press the delete button that's removed the background as you can see refine edges at the top on the top of the toolbar here I'm going to left click that and what you can see is I press the black button and that's what's been cut out. I go back to the white button. We can see little bits of black there, so they have to be removed. We'll come to that in a moment. Go back to the little blue button here that gives you the marching ants. You have these sliders here. This is the contract and expand that will make the uh, 
marching ants move out and move in so if I go plus you'll see they'll be coming back in and if I go minus they'll be going out so we'll stick to the default you can play about with this and you'll find what settings uh, for different uh, images we'll click OK there right now see down the bottom here we've got a little bit of blue so we're going to remove that but first of all to be able to do that I'm going to have to go to the top and press select and deselect so we get rid of all the little marching ants so down here I'm going to use the eraser so if you've got any bits that you want to remove uh, that's on the image that you don't want it to uh, be there uh, you go over to the toolbar hit the erase button and we want the erase tool so we've done that I've got the eraser I'm going over to the slider on the right hand side to increase the size of the image just bring him down here now with the eraser tool down here bottom left I'm just now rubbing out that little bits of blue background the more time you take the better you'll be at it okay just to give you a rough idea there I'm going to bring that over here on the slide tool bring it back down to its normal size we now want to save the image out to a file so we'll go over to the file save as now the most important thing is we're going to give it a new name it's cut our image cut our image 2 has to be saved as a Photoshop PSD it must be saved that way right now hit the save button there we go that will be now saved to that file go over here file and close right that's the end of this tutorial uh, the next one will be we will be showing you how to import the image we've just cut out into fireworks onto a new background thanks for watching